Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I am Kate. Today is going to be my, I guess, first half of 2017 favourites. Um, I've got quite a few products here, mostly makeup, just one skincare item. So let's jump into it. I'm going to start with the skincare item first, and this is. See, oh, dropping it. I can't really say this has been like a just the first half of 2016. This is kind of like an all time, always, always been my favorite for like three years now. And that is the Origins Drink Up Intensive Overnight Moisturizer. So, mask, sorry, not moisturizer. And I use this day and night, like literally wash my face in the morning, put it on, wash my face at night, put it on. So, this is on my skin 24 7 and I am obsessed with it. Like, obsessed is an understatement. It's helped my eczema so, so much. Like, especially in winter when it gets really dry and your skin literally is like flaking off, this stuff is a lifesaver. If you've got sort of normal skin and then it just gets a little bit dry sort of in winter, this would be really good to use like a couple times a week just overnight. But if you're like me and your skin is constantly tight and dry, then this is amazing as your everyday moisturizer. I love it. This is like an old favorite that I've kind of rediscovered in the last couple of months, and that is the Stilla Stay All Day Liquid Foundation. This is incredible for full coverage. Like, I don't know why I stopped wearing it. I had a little concealer in the top, which I don't love the concealer. I, can, I find it, it can be a little bit drying, but the actual foundation itself isn't overly drying, and the coverage is insane, and it literally does like last all day, all night, sweat proof, like yeah, absolutely love this. It does irritate my skin a little bit if I wear it like too many days in a row, it just makes my eczema like flare a little bit, but for going out and like special occasions, this is amazing. So one of my most recent purchases, I've had this for about four weeks now, is the Huda Beauty 3D Highlighting Palette. The hype online was so worth this. If you're not into kind of like quite glittery highlights, you might not like this, but I love all highlights as long as they're beaming. So we've got, you've got one cream. Oh, if I can hold it up. You've got one cream, which is really beautiful, like golden color. And then you've kind of got like the matching powder shade, a bronzery kind of shade, or like a highlight for deeper skin tones. And Zanzibar, which is this pinky kind of shade, which I use more as like a blush topper. Um, Tahiti, when I'm not tanned, is like a really beauty, a really beauty, a really beautiful, like bronzer topper. Um, but when I've got a tan on, I can use it as kind of like a highlighter and yeah, really beautiful, really, really creamy. You can see. Yeah, absolutely love these. <gasps> no! <sighs> can you see that? Oh, I stuck my finger in it. On. The next is an oldie, but I really only got it like at the end of last year, mid last year. So I've been obsessed with it for about 12 months now. That is the MAC Give Me Sun Bronzer. I started using this just in like my freelance work because I didn't think I was like dark enough because I'm naturally very, very pale. Um, but even using this as like a blush when I was doing like bronzy looks on fair skin was absolutely stunning. Um, yeah, I love it. Everyone loves it. Everyone knows about it. It's a really warm, beautiful bronzer. The last bronzer that I have to share with you is the Marc Jacobs. What's it even called? It's the Limit, the Omega bronzer. Absolutely obsessed. I am, think this looks beautiful on like pretty much every skin tone. It's not too warm. It's not too cool. You can use it to warm up the face. I use it for like a really subtle contour when I'm doing like a more natural look. It's the color. Ugh, it's beautiful. I'm pretty sure this is limited edition, so I think I'm gonna have to get another one. The Marc Jacobs bronzers in general are stunning. They're really creamy, they're really smooth, they blend really well. But this color is just, it's heaven. I love it, absolutely love it. Well done, Marc Jacobs. So before we move on to lips and eyes, I just wanna share with you a brush. This, oh, I don't even know what it is anymore, the F30, it's so worn, the F35 Sigma highlighting brush tapered brush. I was using this originally for setting under my eyes, which it is absolutely perfect for. I'm going to have to get another one. But recently I've been using it for highlighting and oh my god, it's a game changer. I've like always loved the fan brush, but it's quite subtle. Like it gives you quite a subtle glow. It doesn't pick up as much product as this because it's a little bit more densely packed. Hold up. Hey mum. 
with my mum. Yeah, no, I think I already said everything I wanted to say about this. It's, I need to get another one because it is perfect for setting under the eyes as well. Um, oh, that made me itchy. I think I just put highlight all under my eye. That's a good look. Something that everyone has been obsessed with on the internet and I have, I've only got two, but I will get the rest of them eventually, are the Stiller Magnificent Metals um, Liquid Glitter and Glow. These are insane. Like, they are amazing. The hype is worth it. I'm obsessed. I really used, I loved like the old ones they had, but it was really annoying because you had to put like the little liquid into the pot. Like, I'm talking really old. Like, I think they stopped stocking them like three years ago, but they were beautiful too. But these ones, just the formula is insane. I've got Bronzed Bell, which I'll swatch. Oh, I'm so obsessed with them. They blend out really well. You can see I'm moving there. I've got to get better at swatching. But that's Bronze Bell and Smoldering Satin. So one's like a little bit more of a bronze, well obviously a bronzy one, and one's a bit more silver kind of payoff. But I absolutely love these, even just for like inner corner or all over the lid. They're absolutely stunning, and I feel like they just glam up every look. Like it can be the most basic eye look ever. You act these on with a bit of wing liner and good to go, like stunning. So I've got a couple of lip products to share. The first one is like a combo that I've been doing at the moment and I'm absolutely obsessed. I feel like it's the perfect nude. It is the Too Faced Naked Dolly mixed with Anastasia's Undressed lip gloss. They're so beautiful together. I really like more of like a pinky nude. Now I sort of, I used to be like all into that like brown mocha kind of nude, but in the last sort of six months I've really gone more of like a pinky nude and I just find that these two, even these two alone are stunning, but mixed together it's like perfect. So the bottom one is Too Faced Naked Dolly and the top one is the Anastasia Undressed. Yeah, Undressed. They're just, oh, I love them. Like the, this one's more of like a pink pink, like pinky real kind of like true pink nude. This one is a little bit more mauve um, but still like really, really pale. And yeah, I just think they look beautiful together on pretty much any skin tone. And I don't know what else to say about them. They're both creamy, beautiful, long lasting, and I love them. The third lip product that I am obsessed with is the Still Out Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick in Caramello. This has been out for over a year now, but I've only just bought it in the last month and I'm obsessed with it. It's like a beautiful mauve nude kind of colour. It goes quite mauve on me, but some people it does go a little bit more pink or a little bit more nude. I think it just depends on your natural pigment in your lips, but yeah, I love this. I've been using it on like everyone, like for my freelance and stuff like that. And yeah, it's beautiful. Obviously the Stilla Stay All Day Liquid Lip Dips. <laughs> Stilla Stay All Day Liquid Lipsticks are insane. If you've tried them, you know they're like eat proof, drink proof, kiss proof, like nothing moves them. Absolutely nothing. Tornado, not gonna move it. Go swimming, not gonna move it. So yeah, they're incredible. I've got pretty much all the colors now, but this is the newest addition to my collection. The last lipstick that like lip product I've got to show you is the Lulu Lips. So these are a friend of mine from school actually is Lou from Lulu Lips and these are incredible. She's made her own brand of lipsticks. The case is like one of my favorite parts but it just pops open like that. Open it and they're really they're like a creamy matte. They last forever. I'm wearing this one now. This is my favorite color at the moment Aurora. She's got a whole range of them so go check them out. Um, on Instagram, it's just Lulu Lips, and yeah, they're insane. Like, really, really creamy, because I'm really long-lasting. My problem is with lipsticks, because I've got such dry lips, is I want that really, like, full pigment, but it's really hard to wear on an everyday basis, because really full pigment tends to mean dry. It's just in my experience. And um, these are amazing, because they're so creamy, and they're still super, super full pigment. So go check them out. She's got, I think, six other colors. Don't quote me on that. Go check it out though. This is Aurora and I'm loving this just to like, because I wear all black. I was going to say in winter, but I wear all black all the time and I find that wearing a bright lip really just makes, gives the outfit something so it's not literally just like emo, you know? Yeah, I'm stop talking now. Nearly there guys. My second last favourite is... Makeup Geek eyeshadows. This is the palette that I made just buying all the little single ones. I have got the satin, like the glittery ones and the mattes in here. I don't know what took me so long to get onto these. They're incredible. Like 
super blendable, super pigmented. The shimmers and the satins, like you spray with a bit of Fix Plus and they're like a bam, in your face, glitter. Like incredible, I don't know honestly what took me so long. I did get them from Beauty Bay, so it did take a couple months to get to me, which, oh my God, it was like the longest wait ever. But now that I have them, I love them and I will definitely be purchasing more of them. Ooh. And lastly is something that I've always kind of had, but I didn't appreciate it until I didn't have any left. And then I was like trying to use just flat like rubbing alcohol and it just wasn't the same. And this is the Mecca Cosmetica Brush with Success Cosmetic Brush Cleaner. This stuff is insane. It makes your brushes smell incredible. There's like, it's really fast drying and the makeup comes off so, so easily off your brushes. I've kind of always had it in my kit. It's always there when I need it, but yeah, amazing. Don't know, like when I didn't have it, I freaked out. I was like, it's not the same. So yeah, favorite brush cleaner. So that's my favorites for the month of June slash the whole last six months because I haven't done a favorite yet this year. I hope you guys enjoyed and give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you did. Leave a comment down below and let me know what some of your favorite products are. I would love to check them out. So yeah, thanks for watching guys and I will see you in my next video. Bye.